This video is sponsored by Motion VFX. Do you see this right down here? These are captions, and I made them directly in Final Cut Pro using M Captions, a brand new tool from Motion VFX. In this video, I'll be showing you how to download, install, and use these captions, all so that you can level up your content and streamline your workflow. All right, for starters, let's quickly talk about how to download and install M Captions. First things first, you'll need to download and install M Extension because this is a brand new type of plugin. I'll place the link in the description below to M Extension where you'll be able to download it and go through the process of installing it. Once you install M Extensions, you'll actually see a brand new panel inside of Final Cut Pro. When you click here, you'll see two options. M Captions and M Extension. For now, let's click M Captions. Once selected, a brand new window will pop up and you can resize or place this window anywhere, including a secondary monitor. So let's take a quick look at how M Captions is laid out. Up here is where we can drag our media. Below is where we can choose our language and analyze our audio. Below this is information about our clip or project files. Below this, we have a preview window displaying the changes that we make. And below this is some transform controls as well as some advanced options. To the side is a bunch of preset templates that we can start with. You can simply hover over any of the templates to see how the animation will react. Now in order to get M Captions to actually start analyzing audio, you'll need to drag your media into the drop zone. You can do this by dragging a movie clip, an audio file, or even a project. I'll go ahead and select a project. We'll drag it in and then click Analyze. It will auto detect the language. In this case, it's English. Once this is done, we can keep selecting different templates or make further adjustments. Here we can change things like the fonts and colors. Once we have the look that we want, there's a few way to actually export the captions. We can choose to add them into the library, which will essentially create a brand new project with the captions applied. We can choose to export a .srt file if we want to take the captions and use it as a closed caption option for you know, YouTube videos or things like that. Or we can simply drag the captions onto our current timeline, which is the way that I would do it most of the time. Now let's see it in action while we hear from today's sponsor. Motion VFX is an incredible platform that offers tons of video plugin effects. And they've recently released their latest product, Design Studio. This is a subscription that comes with M captions and tons more. It includes the majority of the Motion VFX product library and features a brand new interface. You can browse or search for an effect that you'd like to use, then simply drag it onto your timeline. And one of my favorite new features is you can create custom collections. So if there's a couple of plugins that you would typically use for a YouTube review video, you can go ahead and group those into its own collection. And then maybe you have a different set of plugins that you might use for a different type of video, like a vlog. Well, those can have their own collection as well. I plan on making some custom collections for different brands that I work with. Design Studio includes a ton of titles, transitions, overlays, add-ons, and more. It even includes plugins from some of your favorite creators. If you guys want to learn more, you can check it out at the link in the description below. Now that we've got to see the captions in action, let's talk about some common use cases for them. One of the ways I plan on using them is for some high energy YouTube intros to bring boldness and clarity. Something like this. Today we are in the city of Atlanta testing out a brand new camera. It's a $30 toy camera. To put it to the test, I'll be meeting up with friend and fellow creative, Ryan. We'll be pushing this camera to its limits and putting our skills to the test. All to answer the question, does gear even matter? Another way I could see using this is if you're in a loud or really noisy environment, but you still wanna make sure that you're clearly communicating what you're saying. All right, we're on the super massive lens right now. Uh, this is the 12. And I'm gonna go try to find like a tighter spot to do this little real idea. Cause I think as my friend Arthur mentioned, that'll be a, a better perspective, I think. But it was fun to come down to the beach. So let's go.
And a super useful way to use these is when it comes to short form vertical content. This is probably like the reason I'm most excited about having captions in Final Cut because over 70% of people consume short form vertical content without the sound on, which means if you don't have captions, people aren't going to know what it is that you're talking about or what you're doing. Now being able to have them built in directly into Final Cut can speed up the process, streamline the workflow, and really just make an overall better experience for content creators. Hi, I'm Ben Johnson. I'm a full-time YouTuber who lives in Atlanta. I recently got invited to go on the trip of a lifetime. I never thought like starting YouTube that I'd be able to like go to the other coast and like see all this type of stuff. That's a lot of people. On this trip, I'll be testing out new gear. He's got that vlog arm. Stumbled upon a little set going on over here. This thing is crazy. Climbing mountains. Hey, we made it up here. Cool. Exploring California. That's insane and hanging out with some of the coolest creators ever. All right, I'm here with Jayhawk. I'm here with YC. We're gonna tell them all, all the secrets. My goal with this video is to bring you along and leave you feeling inspired. Let's get into it. Now that we've seen some of the use cases for the captions, let's talk through some final thoughts. I'm genuinely so excited for the ability to use captions within Final Cut Pro. Up until now, I've been having to rely on the built-in caption generators within social media platforms or trying to use a third-party app, which at times can actually degrade the quality, but it's also a whole other step that you have to do. You've got to export your video, upload it into whatever platform, recaption it, re-export it, and it just becomes this really complicated process, especially if you're having to do this again and again and again for multiple shorts. So it's super nice to be able to have the option to really automatically generate captions within Final Cut Pro as soon as I slice together the video. It can take out a ton of steps. When it comes to M captions, I love the overall layout and it's pretty easy to use. However, in my opinion, there is still some room for improvement. For example, I really like the look of Instagram's built-in captions, but right now I can't actually recreate that look within M captions because I'm limited to two lines. I think it would be beneficial to just give us a little bit more customization, maybe the ability to highlight specific words in our captions or just having more templates that kind of already emulate the common look we see on certain platforms so that we can match platform expectations. But because this is a subscription product, there should be some room for updates and improvements over time. Overall, this is a great start and a super useful tool for Final Cut Pro. Motion VFX has also created some really cool and useful AI tools that take Final Cut Pro to the next level. If you'd like to learn more about those, you can check it out in this video here. Thanks so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Peace.